Hi everyone, Suzanne here. Welcome back to my Tomb Raider 4 The Last Revelation playthrough. Today we are going to be playing through the first half of the Temple of Karnak, the Great Hypostyle Hall, and Sacred Lake levels. I say first part because we do have to go through each of these levels twice, so I'll be going through them a second time in the next video. And again, we're starting off with the cutscene. There's so many cutscenes in this game, I love it. So just a really brief recap on the story so far. Lara Croft came to Egypt in search of the Amulet of Horus. She paid a local guide to take her to the tomb of Set in the Valley of the Kings in order to retrieve the amulet. She succeeded, but unfortunately, by Lara taking the amulet from the tomb of Set, she has unleashed Set from his prison. In ancient times, the god Horus used the amulet to trap Set and prevent him from wreaking destruction on the earth. But now that he's been released, he is slowly making his way towards Earth, and once he arrives, all kind of chaos and destruction is going to follow, and it's basically going to be the apocalypse. Von Croy and his men are also after the amulet, and after Lara narrowly escapes a trap that they set for her, she decides to pay a visit to an old friend who should be able to help her sort this mess out. Mon Dieu, Lara? Jean-Yves, my faithful friend. I fear this is not a social visit. Only if you want Von Croy gatecrashing the party. Von Croy? I think he was looking for this. The Amulet of Horus. An almost legendary artifact. So, you have found and opened the tomb of Set. This doesn't bode well. Translating from the Hebrew, he who removes the amulet shall once more release the dark power of Set. And Set sigheth, I am the shadow across the sun, I am the bringer of plagues, my wrath will consume all lands and shall be ceaseless. The power to summon the sun god Horus to rebind the evil set shall only be revealed to the bearer of the amulet within the temple of Seneket at Karnak. The ceremony is complete as the armor of Horus summons the sun god. The armor of Horus. At the dig site in Alexandria, my men talk fearfully of this. The armor must also be von Croy's goal. Only one so ignorant of the prophecies would double with such a prehistoric evil. Ah, yes. Releasing set. But how could you have known, my dear? Time to put things right and remove a thorn in my side in the process. So, some time after Lara escapes from Von Croy and his men, she arrives at her friend Jean Yves' home. Jean Yves is a French archaeologist and a good friend of Lara Croft's. Jean Yves is also an expert on Egyptology. Now, there's actually a really interesting lawsuit surrounding the character of Jean Yves, but I actually think I'm going to leave that for the Chronicles game because I feel like it's more relevant to mention it there. Yeah, like you can look it up yourself if you're curious. I just thought it was really, really interesting. I didn't know that there was a lawsuit around his character. So Lara and Jean Yves embrace. So they're obviously really, really old friends and like each other a lot. Jean Yves remarks that he's afraid Lara is not there for a social visit. Lara replies, only if you want Von Croy gate crashing the party. Jean Yves is puzzled and Lara shows him the amulet of Horus, saying she thinks Von Croy is looking for it. Jean Yves instantly recognizes the amulet and picks up an ancient manuscript from his desk. 
Jean Eves translates from Hebrew and reads that whoever removes the amulet shall release the dark power of Set. As John Eves reads, his voice turns into the voice of Samarket. We see visions of fire, smoke, and a ruined temple. We learn that the power to summon Horus to rebind Set will only be revealed to the bearer of the amulet within the temple of Semerket at Karnak. John Eves mentions that the ceremony will be complete when the armor of Horus summons the sun god. He says that the armor of god Horus is at his dig site in Alexandria. Lara guesses that the armor is also Von Croy's goal. John Eves says that Von Croy would need to be ignorant to dabble with such prehistoric evil. Lara scowls knowing that she's the one who released Set, but John Eves assures her that she couldn't possibly have known. Lara then leaves for the Temple of Karnak, determined to set things right. So basically, Jean Yves has given us some essential information. We now know that the secret to summoning Horus in order to bind Set will be revealed to the amulet bearer in the Temple of Semerket at Karnak. So we need to go there first with the amulet and find out this information that needs to be revealed. And then after that, we need to meet up with Jean Yves at his dig site in Alexandria and find this armor of Horus as well, because we also need that to summon him. And hopefully after we summon Horus, we'll be able to rebind Set and prevent the end of the world. So that's our mission. Let's head off to Karnak. Okay, so um, I guess Lara is just as bad a driver as I am. <laughs> right, so here we are at the temple of Karnak. How beautiful is this? Okay, so just climb up here. Um, yeah, I think my last video recorded quite well. So yeah, fingers crossed, a lot of the issues are fixed now and yeah, we can just play and enjoy. I guess it'll be another test of sorts to see how the dark parts in these levels come out, you know, from inside the tombs and stuff. But I think if they come out okay for these levels, then it should be pretty okay for the rest of the game, hopefully. <laughs> so cool. Okay. <gasps> There. Oh, okay, so now we've got black scorpions and these ones actually poison you, but they created like a poison effect. So I'm going to let it poison me on purpose. Am I poisoned? Why, why won't they poison me? Oh, there we go. Okay. So, wait, did it poison me? It turned purple. Oh yeah, okay. Because the poison, look, it actually affects you. Makes everything start swimming and moving. How awesome is that? That's such a cool effect. That's so trippy. Um, It doesn't seem to be killing me though. Oh, it is. It's killing me very slowly. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just gonna run around for a, a tiny bit like this because I think it's really cool. Um, of course you need a medipack to heal yourself, but uh, yeah, that's such an awesome effect. That is so crazy. It's getting crazier. <laughs> that's so insane. Oh, there's no way you could play like that. No way, oh my God, stop. Okay, that's enough of that. We'll take we'll take a medipack and recover ourselves. <laughs> but yeah, I just really wanted to experience that. It's really cool. Okay, so the first trip through all of these levels is honestly oh, can't I get up here? 
is honestly just going to mainly be um, getting pickups. And then the second trip through will have a bit more to do. Um, but you know what? Pickups are fun as well. Pickups are an important part of Tomb Raider. So yeah, let's just let's just have fun doing the pickups. Oops. Okay, and then that's nothing. Oh, and this is a secret, I'm pretty sure. Uh. Scorpion is not going to get me again. They're so ugh. Oh, why? What's happening? I don't know. They're ugh. <laughs> why am I so bad at this? noises in this are scary. Okay, so it's quite dark in here. So again, we'll see how this comes out. Um, and not, not that I want it to come out super bright or anything. I don't mind if it's still a bit dark, just that, you know, there's the ability to see something <laughs> would be nice. So yeah. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Okay, so that was a really cool secret. Um, got so many goodies there. Okay, and then I'm pretty sure if we jump up somewhere here there's more stuff oh up here Hopefully was able to edit out that giant motorbike that was going by. I don't know. The person who owns that motorbike is so annoying. They drive back and forth every day. I mean, I assume it's the same person with the ridiculously loud motorbike. But yeah, they they drive me mad. Right. Um. So... I think that's all the pickups out here anyway. Oh yeah, we're just littering in the temple of Karnak. We don't we don't give a crap apparently. <laughs> okay, so let's check out in here then. I think we just go to the ooh, okay, yeah, we'll go there. I think we just go into the the pool though. take those and this is so so sneaky um so like again we've never been shown doors like this before so how are you supposed to know that you can open that door by just pulling it so silly um oh yeah there's an air hole here air hole This is literally just to get two secrets. 
and um i oh i forgot to mention actually that i lara thank you i do have um info on these Grr. god that's so annoying i do have info on these levels um in real life so temple of karnak and stuff but i think i'm going to do that at the start of sacred lake so in a little bit towards the end of the video just so we can kind of actually see the structures that i'll be talking about i think it'll make um a bit more sense and hang on now i just need desperately to get air before i drown Whew, okay Let's go. Underwater is so buggy. That sounded like a toilet being flushed. It's really gross, actually. Okay. Get me out, get me out. I'm getting a lot better with water. I'm proud of myself. I think I've just played so much so quickly at the moment that it just doesn't, um, it doesn't hugely, ooh, crap. It doesn't hugely affect me right now. And yeah, just to recap for anyone who missed it, we're not constantly picking up the same gun over and over again. If you already have a gun that you pick up in Tomb Raider 4, then you just get the ammo for that gun when you pick it up. So, like it's so beautiful and cinematic but also so over the top at the same time <laughs> cool oh more littering great okay so uh okay it looks ridiculously dark in here for me on my screen so I'll see how it records. The stress. I said the stress, but I, it also kind of sounded like I was saying distress. And you know what? Both are correct. Both are correct. Okay. And I know there's a medipack over here. I mean, you can't say that they don't give you enough pickups. They do give a lot of pickups. Okay. So amazing. Like, when you think that this game came out in 1999, it is just amazing. Those are so icky. Let me just have a wander around for pickups. Oh, I think we go here later. Um, okay. 
I will take those. I dropped it in here. Okay. Um, there is another secret, I think, up here. flares that's good how many flares do we have because i'm actually using a lot we've 83 we don't need to we don't need to ration them or anything here but I will see. I can hear something pincering. Can't see a thing. Is there nothing down here? That sucks. This is such an unnecessarily long monkey swing. <laughs> Why are you so long? Okay. Uh, there's no scorpions, I don't think. Guess we push this. What did that button do? <gasps> Scorpion. I think I got it. Uh, okay. Well, I actually think I can just drop down. It'd be quicker than swinging, wouldn't it? Oh! <gasps> I hear something. I hear it. Oh, it's not down here. Okay. Where is it then? Where is it? I can hear it. <gasps> ah, ah! Get away! Get away! Oh god, they're so horrible. Do you know why I hate them so much? They really remind me of spiders with the, the black legs. Oh god, I'm not able. I can hear more. I can hear another one, but I actually don't care. I don't care. I'm just pushing this button and getting out of here. <gasps> okay. So I guess I just drop down here. Eh, let me through. <laughs> and I will take that. And oh yes, I remember this. So we need to mainly, we'll be using this room in the next video. Um, so for now, we're just going to do some pickups. Because what else are we doing? <laughs> in this video except picking up pickups we are oh wow current current okay right and then i 
do believe... Do we put one of the... Hang on. I can really hear a scorpion now. It's... It's haunting me. I don't like it. But do we put one of the jars in now? I think so. A canopic jar. What does that mean? Oh, right. Canopic jars were used by the ancient Egyptians during the mummification process to store and preserve the viscera of their owner for the afterlife. And I think by viscera, they mean like their organs. Okay. Great. Oh, okay. So we did need to do that. So that opens the entrance to the great... Apostyle Hall. Okay, let's head there then. Think, can I jump out here? Flares. Cannot see a thing in some parts of this. Not a damn thing. Okay. Uh, how do I get out? Go up here. That's where we just were, so, uh, do I go over here? I think so. What was that noise? That was so scary. Okay, so just before we start the next level, just going to double check the secrets. So, at this point we should have 29 out of 70 secrets, so let's check. 29 out of 70 so we have all of the secrets and that's all of them for this video so the first time we visit Great Hypostyle Hall and Sacred Lake there's no secrets there. Okay let's go. These levels are so peaceful though I do really like them. Okay, great. So we're now in the level Great Hypostyle Hall. But we're kind of just passing through for this time and doing pickups, of course. Ah, there's a pickup. I really hope I'm saying that right, by the way, Hypostyle. I'd never heard of that word before, um, so I don't know, I hope that's how you say it. <laughs> uh, no. No. Get away from me, you gross, gross thing. everything isn't it I think so I don't want to spend too much time searching around for pickups anyway uh, okay so this is confusing oh that's where we go but 
Again, we need pickups. Oh god. Oh my god, that actually scared the crap out of me. <laughs> There's nothing sitting around down here. I don't think so. Oh. Okay, can we just get it over with if you're up here? So I can stop wasting flares. Right. Um, so let's make sure we check all the dark corners for pickups. You actually can't see anything here without flares. Okay. There is something over here. Oh, there's something over here as well. More flares, which I desperately need. So, thank you. I think that's everything. I did that without falling. I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> right. Uh oh. can't catch a break from Von Croy. He's stalking us at this point. Like he's kind of obsessed with Lara. Not gonna lie. But yeah, obviously when the guide Ahmed told him that the amulet mentioned the high priest Semerket, Von Croy then knew to come to Semerket's tomb at the Temple of Karnak. Or something down here which is super annoying it's like god von croy get your own thing you know find your own amulet to go after or whatever um but there's nothing here okay i guess there's nothing then Oh, there's pickups here. That makes up for it. <gasps> Woo! Okay. So now we're into Sacred Lake. it is. Here's the sacred lake. Couldn't find it for a moment there. So we've got some bats <laughs> and a crocodile. Ah! Oh god, it can come up here.
They made the crocodiles a bit scarier in this one, the way they kind of extra thrash around when you kill them. Oh, I'm sorry, I meant to hit sprint. <laughs> oh, that is a wall. Okay, so check this out. How beautiful is this? Okay, so I feel like this is the perfect environment to stop in and talk about, well, the environment. <laughs> so the Karnak Temple Complex is made up of a vast mix of decayed temples, pylons, chapels, and other buildings. Karnak was, at its peak, the largest and most important religious complex in ancient Egypt. Did not know that. I'm pretty sure I've actually been to Karnak. I went to Egypt um, when I was about 15 and it was amazing, but the only problem is, because it was so long ago, I actually can't remember some of like the details. So that's kind of sad, but I'm pretty sure I did actually go to Karnak. So the most significant building at Karnak is the Temple of Amun-Ra, which is famous for its vast hypostyle hall. So I presume that's what we just came through. That's meant to be the Amun-Ra Apostyle Hall. So of course I was like, what's a hypostyle hall? A hypostyle hall is an interior space whose roof rests on pillars or columns. The word literally means under pillars and allows for the construction of large spaces without the need for arches. Interesting. Okay, so I thought because hypostyle kind of looked similar to apostle or something to me, I thought a hypostyle hall was going to be something religious, but no, it's just what you call a big large space that's held up by pillars. So this is really interesting. And what about this sacred lake? Why is it called the sacred lake? So the Karnak sacred lake is the largest of its kind and was used by priests for ritual washing and navigation. Not quite sure what ritual navigation is, but okay. The sacred lake is lined with stone and has stairways descending into the water. And I did actually look up photos of the Karnak sacred lake and it does look quite similar to this except it doesn't seem to have this like structure in the middle so they seem to have like added that for the game but it is does kind of look like this with the stairs going down into it and then I think it's just mainly surrounded by I think it said they were houses for the priests and stuff so that's what surrounds it in reality but I do think they changed it slightly just, you know, for the game, of course. So yeah, I just thought that was really interesting um, and I learned a lot of new stuff. Okay, so let's go. Yes, there, oh God. I'm not getting into that water with that crocodile. Get me my shotgun. If I had a grenade launcher, I'd use it, but I don't. So give me that shotgun. Maybe if I, maybe if I tease him, he'll come over. Tasty, tasty, come on. I think he's too far away. Oh, damn it. Come on. <laughs> okay, that took like way too many shotgun blasts but you know what i got him i got him he's dead i know there's more but one less is nice <gasps> well i mean he looks kind of stupid he's like stuck in the wall but okay let's just let's just go okay let's just swim as quickly as we possibly can Right. Um. Hello? No, I, I know there's more. I know there's more, stop it. There's at least one more. 
I am not getting surprised by that sucker later, so... Where are you? <gasps> there. Gotcha. I take crocodile hunting very seriously. <laughs> okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. To the oh bleh. That was overkill for bats. But I was mad because they made me drop my flare. What's down here? Oh. I should drop down carefully. Okay. Uh oh. Well, do you know what? That actually works because we can just climb up the pole, can't we? Yeah, we can just climb up the pole. What's that noise? Oh my god, these background sounds are so creepy. Right. Let's go, let's go. Flip. That is so scary. They're trying to scare me with those background sounds. They succeeded. <sighs> Great. More crocodiles. Wonderful. Just what I wanted. Seriously, what is that supposed to be? That is terrifying. <sighs> okay. Can I... Can I just... Drop down here? Apparently. Because we just have to get into the water. Hang on. If I jump and slide and then... Oh. Well, do you know, it didn't work, but it actually worked out, so it's fine. <laughs> okay. I am not afraid of crocodiles. Obviously, I am. Um, I'm just... It's my mantra. I'm not afraid. <laughs> I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Oh my god, it's there. Oh my god. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Ah! Oh my god. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I've I've swam the wrong way. I've swam away from land. Why did I do that? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I'm I'm running out of air as well. Um, okay, look, let's just, let's just get up here. Run, Lara, run. Ooh. Oh, come on, stop messing now. This is like a horror movie. Where is it? <laughs> oh my god. 
there. That's it. Can I jump here? What? Okay, these crocodiles are so buggy. What is wrong with them? Oh well. They make it easier to shoot them. I got it. Good job, me. Okay, I think that's all the crocodiles. I am not happy about this. I'm not happy, I'm not happy, but you know what? The quicker we get it done, the quicker it's over with. So let's just go. Right. Just make sure. No, there's no more. Was that a crocodile? No, it wasn't. Okay. <laughs> Was that a crocodile? No. See, I keep seeing the edges. You see the, the kind of black edges with the white line and I keep thinking that's a crocodile. Cruel. Okay. Cruelty. There's nothing there. Right, let's go, let's go. More water, more water. Get it done, get it over with. Did I just throw away my flare? I did, because why not, clearly? Oh, why not? Right. Oh no. Which way am I going? Oh yeah, we're, we're going up this way to get some air. Okay. Now, this bit is actually super cool, so um, yeah, I'm excited for this bit. I'm also excited to get out of the water, but I'm excited for this bit. So this is like a legendary Tomb Raider puzzle. So you kind of swim into this room and you're like, where do I go? There's nothing and there's just this giant mirror, but it's an Egyptian trick. So if you look in the mirror, you'll see where to go. So you can't see anything here, just looking. But if you look in the mirror, you can see where the opening should be. That's really, really cool. Really, really sneaky, really like it. And I know that probably stumped absolutely everyone the first time they played. I know it stumped me and my family because as I said, we used to play all these games together. So yeah, super sneaky, but I like it. There's such a creepy green glow. So unnerving. Okay, so we've got the second canopic, canopic jar, I think. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> second canopic jar. Wonderful. That cutscene made me waste my flare. So then we just swim back out now. Um, there shouldn't be any crocodiles. Why is it so buggy underwater? Oh my God. Losing my cool, losing my cool. Here. 
here? Oh. My nose is so itchy right now as well. <laughs> but I can't stop. Or it will drown. Where is it? Where is it? There. Okay. And this will take us back to the temple of Karnak level. And I'm just going to swim to get out of the water so we don't drown <laughs> when we start the next level. Okay, so that's where we're going to leave it for today. So we have the first run of the three levels complete. So in the next video, we're just gonna have to run through each level again and finish off doing what we need to do. And then we're going to have another cutscene. And it's great because in Tomb Raider 3, I was just complaining all the time that there were hardly any cutscenes or not enough cutscenes to explain the story. So I feel like that problem has really been rectified with Tomb Raider 4 and I absolutely love it. So thank you so much for joining me for this video today. I do hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought down below. Do please consider subscribing if you enjoy my videos. It really does help to support me and I will see you really, really soon in the next video. Thank you.